parable of the sower should be called the parable of the soil because the seed is constant. God is constant. The word is constant. Love is constant. What is different is the soil. And the soil happens here. We all have different soil. This whole thing is about consciousness, right? So consciousness is the sum total of all of our experiences, right? Subjective and objective. And there is a collective consciousness, like collectively we agree that the world is round. Collectively we agree that gravity exists. And then there's individual consciousness, which means we cannot trust our senses. Because you don't see, touch, taste, and hear what is there. You see, touch, taste, and hear what is there, plus who you are. Law of agreement. Because what you agree upon in mind, you shall experience. So these guys agreed to a penny. But what was the difference? The difference was, that the penny was just and fair when nobody else was around, but when other people came, then it became about comparison, then greed, then envy, then jealousy came in, and therefore, the penny wasn't enough then. Do you get how so many of us have these beautiful, perfect lives, but when we look outside of ourselves for our experiences, that's when the heaven and the hell comes in. Because we're looking outside of ourselves for validation. Which is the surface people. Those are the unteachables. Those are the people who know it all. Who have an answer for everything. Those are the people who are the extremists. Who are so fixed in their beliefs that nothing can penetrate them. Because you can't accept anything new if you know it all. Those are the people who have a reason why everything won't work. When we focus on what we do have and we use it, that's, that's the lesson here is use. If you don't use it, you lose it. Bottom line, it's like a muscle. It will atrophy. If I don't use this muscle, it will die. We have to, have to honor where we are in life. We came here for specific reasons. And it's on you to get out of your way, to clear all the muck and the mire to become you. Those are the uh, enthusiastic people. Those are the emotional people. They get so pumped up about the idea, but they don't have any follow through. Those are the people who, uh, like the tortoise and the hare. The hare starts out the gate pumped up, ready to go, hopping all over the place. Yes, we're gonna start a new company. We're gonna do all this new stuff. But as soon as it gets tough, outro, they take off. The magical, amazingness of the universe like how how much grace that the universe and God shows us that no matter what hour you get there no matter when you get on the train you shall receive what is right interesting point because that's how life works you see it's not about where you start it's about use it's about whether you use what you got Everybody's gonna start in different places according to ability. That's how it works. Life isn't fair in that way. Bottom line, the Lord, the master, didn't make it about competition. He didn't say, you with five and you with two, you guys battle against each other. He said the same thing to both of them. No matter where you were when you started, if you took those talents and put them into the world and gave your spirit, then, then he said, thou good and faithful servant, I will, I will make thee ruler over many because you honor who you were. How many of us sit on our talents, bury our talents in the ground because we wish that we were born into a rich family. We wish that our dad wasn't on drugs. We wish that we weren't raped when we were seven. We wish, we wish, we wish. None of that matters. Those are the cards you were dealt. And if you get the cards and use the cards properly, oh my God. You shall be ruler over many. We have story after story after story of people who were born into pure dirt poverty. People like Nelson Mandela, Bishop Tutu, people like Mother Teresa. There's all kinds of people. It didn't matter where they started. What mattered is whether they used what they had. If you get nothing else out of this, take what you got and love people to the best of your ability. Take what you got and serve the planet. That is the place where the universe, where God, where truth, where the seed gets to speak through you. That is that in-between space. That is the gap when everything is popping for you, when you're amazing, when you're in the zone. That, that is magic. That is love. That is pure beingness. That is hope. That is seeing into the future and knowing that all that there is is for you that nothing can be against you. 
that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That is the place where you want to be. Guys, 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 quick secret. Love is all there is. I'm love, you're love. And we get to team up together. We get to team up together and push messages like this. Oh, so good, so good. <laughs> Hashtag love's voice, I love you guys, hit me up.